Hello, in this video, I will tell you why the real scan time is longer than the estimated scan time. This is for pulse scan. There are a few things to consider here. The speed of the scan depends on your resting heart rate. So the estimated time of less than an hour may be close, but it's just an estimate. I will take the general purpose full system scan as an example. The scan needs to process about 2,760 frequencies. For each of these frequencies, it needs valid data from the pulse unit. 2,760 frequencies, scanned one every second, using an average heart rate of 60 BPM, would take 46 minutes. However, if your resting heart rate is lower, the scan will take longer due to the slower rate of data coming in from the pulse. Furthermore, if you have at any time a bad data rate from the pulse, it will pause the scan. To resume, it needs three consecutive value rates before continuing. If you get one bad data rate every 10 seconds, the scan will take 50% longer. And that is provided that you don't have more than one bad rate. So now the 46 minute scan just turned into a 69 minute scan. Sources that contribute to bad rates, too loose of the sensor when warm, too tight, constricts blood flow, weaker pulse rate for that day, bad sensor location, etc. To help with sensor placement, try to wear rate on the left side as the pulse is stronger here. Don't wear the ear sensor over a piercing hole. Wear the finger sensor on a fingernail. There are two dimples inside which need to be on flash, etc. Thanks for watching this video. Do you understand it now? What other questions do you have during bell feedback scan? Welcome to tell us.